Hello guys, it's Dinosaur. Welcome back to the channel. This is a late night video. I was going to do it earlier, but I went to youth group with my friends and we decided to hang out a little bit afterwards, so I'm kind of late. Um, adding on to my last video about legalistic teachings, this one's going to be more in depth about condemnation. A lot of times we get we like to condemn ourselves, not that we will not like to, but we condemn ourselves and others for sins. But we have to realize that because of what Jesus did on the cross, we are saved by grace through faith if we repent and trust in Christ. And when we do, God no longer sees us in the flesh, he sees us in the spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. There is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. When we repent and trust in Jesus, like I said, God no longer sees us in the flesh, he sees us in the Spirit. Jesus became our sin and buried it with him after he was hung on the cross. And he rose from the dead again three days later because we were justified. We became the righteousness of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we may be made the righteousness of God in him. So if we are made the righteousness of God, God no longer sees us in the flesh, he sees us in the spirit. Why do we continue to sin? We continue to sin because we are still in the flesh. The flesh wants to sin, the spirit doesn't. And... As long as we are in the flesh, we have to keep battling our temptations. We have to keep confessing our sins. When we continue to commit sin, God doesn't condemn us, and he won't punish us as long as we confess it. He is faithful and just to forgive us. There are consequences when we sin. There is no longer condemnation for those who are in Christ, but there is still consequences. And this is not an excuse to live in sin. This is an excuse to be freed from sin. The Apostle Paul preached about how sinners don't inherit the kingdom of God. But because he is in the flesh, he also preached about how he commits the very evil he wishes he didn't. Sorry about that, guys. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not, do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites. And then he goes on to say that he commits the very evil he wishes he didn't. Romans chapter 7 verse 15 for that which i for that which i do i allow not for what i would that i that do i not but what i hate that do i so paul what are you doing you're condemning evil but you're also saying you practice the very evil you wish you didn't this is where a lot of people get confused and think that the Bible is contradicting itself what a lot of people and then other Christians try to excuse it saying that Paul wrote Romans before he wrote Corinthians actually that's not true the Bible doesn't have all of its books in chronological order he wrote Corinthians first and the point of this was to prove the and the point the reason the Bible was put together like this was to prove the point that 
because of what Jesus did on the cross, we become the righteousness of God. God no longer sees us in the flesh. He sees us in the spirit. The spirit doesn't want to sin. That's what God sees. That's what God sees in us when we repent. And that's not an excuse to live in sin. This is an excuse to be freed from sin. This is an excuse to repent and know that you are saved. You cannot lose your salvation unless you completely turn away from God. What is completely turning away from God? It is living in sin and just denying that you need God, denying Jesus. That is living in sin and not even trying, not even trying to follow the law. That is complete. But don't, don't follow the law because you are trying to prove yourself as righteous. You follow the law because you are grateful to God. <clears throat> you follow the law because you are grateful to God for his forgiveness. And Paul was trying to prove the point that even though God sees us in the Spirit and the Spirit doesn't want to sin, we are still living in the flesh. The flesh wants to sin. We have to keep confessing our sins. We have to keep being forgiven. But it is because of what Jesus did on the cross that we are no longer condemned. We are no longer living under the law. Because under the law, the Ten Commandments, there is nothing but con there's nothing but condemnation. Because no one can follow it down to a T. Jesus did that for us. Jesus was offered up as our sacrifice. Because of him, we can be right with God. All we have to do is accept and believe it. This is again, this is not an excuse to live in sin, this is an excuse to be freed from sin. I hope that you guys understand this. Ask questions in the comment section if you need. Rewatch this video if you need to. And I'm going to try to have a few more videos this week. There's going there's definitely going to be an update video. And I'm going to do another video similar to this except it's going to be about the concept of King James version onlyism. Uh, you guys uh I think a lot of people will have fun with that one. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later. I hope this video has helped you. Again, rewatch it if you need to. Ask questions in the comments. Anyway, guys, see ya. God bless.